And that would have been the warm-ups for this match. Welcome everybody to Lydia's Shrimps versus Latin Cuties in the Fanboy Cup round of uh, 64, I believe. Yes, this is still round of 64. Team Lydia Shrimps are going to take the roll first. They roll 95. Lydia's cuties are going to take the first pick, which means that uh, letting cuties are going to take the first ban, which will be Yeah, thanks, thanks, Komi, thanks, thank you, thank you very much. Noma, too. Let's see what Lydia's Shrimp's uh, ban is. Hidden one. They banned HD1, which means they are not that confident in Hidden 1. Their pick should be some Hard Rock or Nomad. Perhaps, uh, perhaps DT. Yep, HR1 called it. This is a consistency hard rock one. I genuinely find it uh, hard. In my opinion, it's hard. But who knows, who knows. It might not be that hard.
And we are starting with the HR1 already. First map of the match. HR1, it seems like only uh, Doki took HD as, uh, as some comforting mod. Everybody else is just playing with uh, HR. Since this is an HR pick. So far it seems like oh Doki breaks. Not, not very good since Lydia Shrimps are now taking the lead with their score with a double FC. Uh, on the other hand, Latin Cuties are having uh, aim. I'm happy. I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. I'm happy with the only FC in Latin Cuties team. Fighting against two FCs is not a very good task. But as it seems, uh, I'm happy is uh, holding out pretty well because of the accuracy difference. They pretty much dropped like a percent back, but they still have a pretty good chance of coming back. Since Lydia only has X3 Lydia only has 95%, uh, only just like 1% ahead of I'm Happy, and Unveiled Golem has like 92, 93%. I can't really see because of their name, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not scuffed at all. Oh, and Lydia breaks on that on that slow something. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it. That pattern is just the devil's creation. X3 Lydia breaks on it, which allows Team Latin Cuties to come back. Since Doki has a pretty big combo now, pretty much caught up. And there it is, the score advantage is now at Latin Cuties. So far, there there have been uh, two two breaks. I think two breaks. I'm not sure, but we for sure only have two FCs left, and. 1 FC is in Team Latin Cuties and the other FC is in Lydia's Shrimps, held by Unveiled Golem and I'm Happy. As we are reaching the last quarter of the map, actually we have already got there. Only one combo difference between the two FCs, most likely because of a slider end that was missed, quote unquote. Unveiled Golem with a 94% FC right now. Versus M Happy's 90, almost 97% FC. Um, I don't think they have enough time. Team Lydia streams, especially with Lydia breaking at this ending section. It's definitely not great for them. 
yeah, they just don't have time with an FC for Latin cuties and a good supporting combo from Doki grants them their first point for the match. There it is, two FCs on this map from Unreal Golem and I'm Happy. Pretty insane, pretty insane, I must say. Alright, Team Litten Cuties have picked HD2. This is AR8 HD. Of course, we are talking about the Devil's Creation. Or maybe I'm just biased, who knows. Players are ready. We are starting all ready. Alright, this is Team Letting Cuties pick. Let's see how it goes for them. Sit a snuff with uh, an early break of the miss there. That was probably some tactic to calm the nerves. As they are still in the lead, since Doki has 92% uh, FC so far. Meanwhile, Lydia and Sidasnoff has pretty much a good accuracy. Sidasnoff breaking again with a 97.6% accuracy. Meanwhile, Lydia is still holding an assess. However, Team Latin Cuties are taking the score lead right now because of the two FCs. Lydia dropping a hundred at the end of that burst. Doki pretty much coming back from that 90% accuracy to 96%, which is pretty good. The two perfect FCs are head to head with 99.4% accuracy. Of course, Doki is still FCing as well in Team Latin Cuties. They would really have to mess up at this halfway point to give a chance to Lydia Shrimps to come back. X3 Lydia fighting against two FCs, all eyes on them. Doki breaking gives them a ja chance, chance, chance. Sidasnaf having a pretty good supporting combo. 
as we are past the last quarter of the map. It's pretty close, it's going to be so damn close. But I think Lydia's Shrimps are now taking the score lead. They have successfully done so! Lydia breaking, that's not good! I'm happy still holding an FC till the end. Lydia shaking shows how much they concentrated. I'm happy with an FC on HD. What is this HD2? That was huge. Now we await Lydia Shrimp's pick. Team Lydia Shrimps taking a free one one. This is a banger. Rise Against is a banger. I must say. Alright, free mod. One. Rise Against Savior. Fury's insane. Fiery, fiery, fiery. And we are starting, players are ready. Here we go. Alright, it seems. There are no easy players in this tournament because easy is a choice. You can also play easy, easy, easy. On free mod picks. Oh, Lydia finding an early break with hidden on this map. While, the te uh, while their teammate is uh, playing with HR. Lydia finding another miss. This gives us an advantage, a pretty big advantage at the beginning here for uh, Latin cuties. We are past the 
first quarter of the map. We still see three FCs. Two FCs in letting cuties and one FC held by unveiled golem in team Lydia's shrimps. I'm happy finding a break though. However, because of the accuracy difference between Doki and Unveiled Golem, I don't think the score is going to be shifting anytime soon. However, they are catching up because Lydia is having a pretty big, pretty big supporting combo. Thank you for the follow, Free Reiki. These spinners. It is not helping the nerves for the players as Lydia's shrimps have now taken the score lead. No problem. Doki is still holding on, however, Lydia's supporting combo is just too big. Combined with Unveiled Golem's FC. As we are done with the map, Lydia's strips take the first point. As we are now one point to two point in the match, we're going to get the fourth pick, which is no much four. some leak gosh all right no much for time this is letting cuties pick banger tech map Let's go. Players are ready. We are starting straight away. Watch four. Letting QT speak. Lydia finding an early break at the beginning. I don't think there there is much meaning for this miss such a break at the beginning. Freeway K, I don't know how to say your name, I'm sorry. 
finding a break as well. Which makes the score shift towards Lydia's shrimps. Two FCs left on the map. That is Sitasnaf from Lydia's shrimps and I'm happy from Latin Cuties. I'm happy finding a break. Sitasnaf still holding the combo. Definitely gives them an advantage. Holding a 97% combo still. Freeway K finding another break on this, I would say slower section, not that. Freeway K finding another break, Sidasnov also breaking, getting rid of the full combo, however Lydia is still there. With a pretty massive combo and as I say that, commentator's curse, Lydia breaks as well. However, I don't think now. No, no way. There's not enough time for letting cuties to come back. There's a 400,000 score difference between the two teams right now, as both teams are holding about 100 combo. Yeah, that gives Lydia Strips another point. As we are now 2-2 two to two between the two teams. Now comes Lydia Shrimp's pick, which will be... We'll soon know. Their pick is oh my god, I can't talk. Their pick is HR2. <laughs> HR2, I don't think I have seen HR2 before. I'm not sure if I did, but it sounds like a banger. Judging from the intro of this song. Here we go, the players are ready. I'm seeing only one hidden player. Once again, that's Doki. Doki did not move.
We are starting again because I just aborted. I just really want to see how Doki plays, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Doki is just trolling. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Doki once again the only one that takes hidden as a comfortable comfort mod. Lydia once again breaking in the beginning. I'm pretty sure that's uh that's some tactic to like calm, calm your nerves. Pretty good tactic from Lydia. Doki can only play with HD. Yeah, I can, I can see that. So far, they were the only one. That played uh, hidden on the on both hard rocks. That's some nice player information. While we have received some player information, it seems I'm happy is holding a 99% FC. For now, I don't want to jinx it. Doki also holding an FC with 91%. Almost 92. Getting 100s here and there. That is Team Latin Cuties and Team Lydia's Shrimps. Lydia once again just broke their combo. Unveiled Golem, the only one holding an FC with 94%. Lydia breaking once again about 400,000 score difference. 500s offline? Offline player? Happy should definitely play online to get those 500s. I mean, who wouldn't be happy with 500s on a profile? As we have reached the ending of the map. Double FC from Team Letting Cuties. Though it's still not over, they can miss, but I'm pretty sure that's a double FC. Yep. There it is. Unveiled Golem unfortunately wasn't able to fight against two FCs. However, they also FC'd. Pretty huge, pretty huge. we go, Team Latin Cuties are picking now. This is a match point. So far we had... A Nomad 4, a Hidden 2, an HR1, an HR2 and a Freemod 1. I guess we'll get to know after the commercial. I'm just kidding, there's no commercial. In the meanwhile, I can just read the 
the comments or the chat. What is it with you guys and being suddenly being good at HR after the qualifier's performance? That tends to happen. DT2. DT2 is their pick. Here we go. Oh no, happy side with buff, he's gonna SS. That. Actually no, don't don't assess it. I I want to see a tiebreaker again. Like last time. That was epic. Alright! DT2 Pure Robbie Robbie Ruby Jesus hard Here we go This is a super, 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 super bursty DT2. Not that much, but it is pretty bursty. Let's see how the players do. Nobody took Hidden as a comfort mod. Freeway K finding an early miss. Which is pretty bad for this map because it's it's relatively short for now team Lydia's shrimps are still holding the double FC with an 89% FC and a 96% FC on the other hand I'm happy is holding a 92% FC still holding out for team letting cuties Freeway K building a pretty good supporting combo. Not that far behind. Cut, cute, I don't know how to say your name, I'm sorry. Missing. Right at the end, this gives him a huge opportunity for Team Letting Cuties to come back. Unless they miss, Sidos now still holding out the FC. Oh my god, that's so. Oh my god, that was way too close. That's tiebreaker. But oh my god. 10,000. 10,000 score difference. Oh my god. That's huge. Oh my god. That's tiebreaker. Tiebreaker time. I I'm just not going to pronounce this, but this is a pretty 
banger map. We also had a tiebreaker on the other match that was streamed here on this channel. And it was pretty huge. It was super huge. Sadly, uh, one slider break, almost FC, was defeated with, like, I think, two massive combos, three massive combos? I'm not sure. But that was also huge. I'm also hoping that this tiebreaker is pretty huge. I just hope. I just hope the players do their very best to make this as make this as exciting as as it can be, as it has to be, you know. Tiebreaker. Lydia Shrimps versus Letting Cuties. Three to three. 30 seconds left from the timer. Players are still getting a breather, I assume. I'm getting excited for this. <laughs> Not even the players, I'm getting excited. The players are ready. That's alright, free BK, that happens. That happens. That's nerves and not focused things for you. Alright, here we go. Tiebreaker, 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 let's go. Doki finding an early break as well as unveiled golem. That's not a great start. But at least it didn't happen in one team. So for now, I would say it's pretty balanced. Almost head to head, both uh, teams are. Team Lydia strips just, just a bit ahead. Not by much. Doki having lots of hundreds. Unveiled goal, I'm having a 98%. Or is that 88? No, that's 98. Sit a snuff. With a 99.37 now. It was 57. It's still a full combo, so it gives them a pretty big advantage. I'm happy, however, also having a full combo with higher accuracy. Unveiled Golem and Team Lydia Shrimps having pretty big and a helpful supporting combo. Not far from. Not far from Sidasnov's full combo. Loki as well. Unveiled Golem breaking! Which gives an opportunity to Team Latin Cuties. Did us now, breaking as well, that's not going to be good for them. I'm happy, still holding on with the full combo, that's well over 99.36%. And Doki having almost 1000 supporting combo, which adds a pretty big sum. Doki breaking! No supporting combo. I'm happy, the only one left with an FC. They have to carry their team to victory if they FC Team Ludden Cuties about
80,000 points away. I'm happy still holding the full combo, that's huge. As we are well past the halfway point of the map. Unveiled Golem all breaking again with a pretty big combo. Sid is now breaking again with a pretty big combo. They are just unable to hold. They need, they just need Unhappy to mess up very badly. To lose that accuracy, to lose that combo. As we are soon reaching the last quarter of the map. I believe this map is uh, 2000. 2400 combo? There's 600 combo left. Sid is now breaking once again with about 300 combo. Doki breaking again. I'm happy breaking with that FC! And Sid is now has like one. 500. Okay, never mind. I'm just not gonna say. Not, not, nothing. So that's not breaking again. Don't keep break missing everything. There's no time for Lydia Shrimps. I'm pretty sure there's no time. I'm happy. Pretty much, I, I don't want to say anything bad about Doki. Doki also had their performance, but I'm happy carried on this last map. With a massive combo. Unfortunately, Lydia Shrimps. Both team members was unable to hold a combo. Unveiled Golem breaking again at the end here. That's the match. That is it. I'm happy. Which we are unable to see. That was a pretty big combo, but we are unable to see that now because they left. That's 4 to 3 for Redding Cuties. And that is the end of this match. I hope it was somewhat enjoyable, with this, even with this uh, scuffed layout. I mean, a uh, layout. With this scuffed uh, stream. Well played to both teams, and uh, thank you stream for watching, that is the end of this match, Lydia Shrimps 3, Letting Cuties 4, Team Letting Cuties winning the match. Be sure to be watching for stream pings. And keep following the news for Fanboy Cup. And that is it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.